I'm Kyan Dorshow. I'm a mom, an author, a founder, and many, many things. Um, but I'm the founder of Glitz, that's Gays and Lesbians Living in a Transgender Society. I'm also a lifetime sex worker, meaning I may not be doing sex work the way I used to, but I still advocate and fight for my community. It's funny to say that being arrested actually put me in such a light that I kind of went to jail and out of that came activism, came a different kind of politics. I had been a, a civil servant for years, but that doesn't pay anything. My sex work kind of paid for everything else. That civil service job only gave me the, the minute beginnings of what I could do to survive. Um, sex work gave me the extras, gave me the comfortability, gave me the security not to have to ride the trains and get my ass kicked. Um, sex work also gave me an independence and an independence that I could rely on more than I could rely on my job. That was something I knew was mine and I didn't have anybody governing what I had got from sex work. There's a language when you talk about being arrested and what that looks like. And there's definitely a language when you're coerced into taking a plea deal, into saying, oh, I was trafficked. No, but they'll change our narrative to change their numbers, to build their numbers and build their cases and change their policies. So all of these languages speak to the tone of taking away our rights as human beings, our rights to do what everybody's been doing for thousands of years. So decriminalization, there's so many ups and changes that we can have. There's avenues that we have to research and actually study because it's systematic oppression we've been running for from forever. So if decriminalization can look like support in steps, how do we take away fines and replace fines with jobs? If you don't want sex work, for Christ's sakes, give us real employment with real salaries. We're in a city where everything costs, and it costs at a major level. How is a mom supposed to take care of a child if she's a single parent and doesn't have a job and doing sex work should she have the right to take care of her family? Yes. Should she have a right not to go to jail for survival and taking care of her family? Yes. But there are many people that will say, well, why? 